All right, one of my favorite subjects here on the channel, let's talk credit cards. Credit cards can be helpful to consumers and business owners, much to Dave Ramsey's chagrin. And uh, counterpoints to his advice, of course, they do provide many advantages and benefits. Now, that being said, they also come with their problems, their fair share, no question about it. And with the US credit card debt quickly nearing $1 trillion right now, it's more important than ever that you make sure you are avoiding costly credit card mistakes, my friend. In today's video, we're gonna cover six total major credit card mistakes that you need to avoid this holiday season and heading into 2023. Make sure you stick around. Now, credit cards are a great alternative to cash, especially when it comes to the many perks that come along with them. Perks like rewards, cash back, travel miles, additional purchase protection, and the ability to boost your credit scores, all of which I benefit from, specifically cash back and credit scores. This, I see thousands of dollars every single year in cash back because I use them for business and also for personal 100% of the time. Keep in mind, folks, that there is also the ongoing argument and truth that using credit cards versus using a debit card comes with additional layers of protection as well. So not only are you getting the rewards and the perks, but the credit card company will look after you if something were to happen, if something, uh, if somebody compromises your identity, steals your credit. This is something that uh, the credit card companies will make you whole from, whereas debit or in cash situations, uh, you do not have that same protection. So using credit is very important as long as you're doing it responsibly. So that's what we're gonna be talking about here today on the video. Uh, look, the perks remain perks when utilized intelligently is what I'm getting to here. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of people struggle to manage their credit card balances in the best possible way. And those perks are then wasted. It's, it becomes almost a trap or a gimmick, which is exactly what the credit card company is hoping for. And if you're one of these people, don't give up, okay? Once you decide to alter your spending patterns, you'll be able to manage your debt much, much better. By refraining from making these six common credit card mistakes, you'll be taking a significant step in the right direction. Now to the list. The first credit card mistake that you have to avoid is maxing out your credit card line. This should be an obvious one, but I see it happen all the time, when you max out a credit card line, your credit scores take a major hit. In fact, the credit scoring algorithms can penalize you as much as two times what they normally would when you get as close to that max credit card limit that you have. And this is because your credit utilization ratio accounts for 30% of your credit scores. When you have accounts maxed out, your utilization ratio spikes and your credit scores are going to suffer significantly. Beyond the impact to your credit scores, Maxing out a credit card comes with a slew of additional downsides. To start, most people who have a maxed out credit card end up paying their minimum payment on that account, which costs them a ton in interest costs and keeps them in the debt for so much longer. Additionally, credit card providers may impose over limit fees on those that choose to go above their credit limit. So maxing out your credit line should be avoided at all costs. The second credit card mistake to avoid is not understanding the terms of the account agreement. When you get a new credit card, the issuer will supply you with the account's terms and conditions. Before using the card, it's necessary to understand these terms and conditions, but so few actually take the time to do so. By doing this, you'll be able to better understand what the credit card company expects of you and improve your ability to control your spending. I've been blessed to have thousands of conversations over the last decade and a half during my one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, and approximately 95% of them have never taken the time to understand the terms that they agreed to on their credit card accounts. This is not unusual. Of those 95%, roughly a 10th had at one point, unfortunately, lost money due to that lack of understanding. And it's because of this that I draw attention to this common credit card mistake. If you don't know what terms you've agreed to, how can you know what they're charging you and for how much. This is a simple and effective way to plug leaks in your personal and business finances. So make sure that you put it into practice. Now, continuing on the subject of the thousands of one-on-one -on -one financial coaching sessions and relationships that I've built over the, over the last 15 years, uh, I recently reopened the one free coaching session offering that I used to provide for roughly 11 years. And that was actually booked out for well over a year for almost five years straight. You can sign up for that now by visiting freecoachingcalendar.com or by clicking the link in the description below. It's a no strings attached 
complimentary coaching session. We actually will do that and, and use it as an educational opportunity to share with our audience ways that we can start with a roadmap to customize you into a, a financial position that allows you to go further a lot more quickly and safely. Now for the third mistake to avoid, and that is always, always, always avoid taking cash advances. Credit card companies use strategies like mailing checks to you in order to entice you to pay your bills with them, uh, consolidate other debts, simple spending of any type, holiday gifts, etc. But they rarely make it clear that these checks are handled exactly like cash advances. Cash advances are risky because unlike typical credit card purchases, interest rates accrue right away. And there's usually no grace period as well as an automatic fee as high as 6% of the advance amount that's applied. To make matters worse, the credit card company may not count the cash advances paid off until the balance on your other purchases is back to zero. To be honest, the best course of action with those checks is to shred them as soon as you receive them. By doing so, you'll avoid temptation and stop potential identity thieves from retrieving the account numbers from the trash bin down the road. Now, beyond the cash advance checks, many credit card companies will try to entice you to use your credit card to withdraw cash from an ATM by issuing you a PIN number after you sign up for a card. When you receive that in the mail, you should also do the exact same thing. Just throw it in the shredder. There's no reason whatsoever to be relying on cash advance from credit cards. The fourth credit card mistake that you should be avoiding is to chase credit card rewards. Credit card rewards can be super beneficial. We've already covered that, earns me thousands a year, but don't allow their attractive utility to tempt you into overspending in order to rack up points. Beyond simply overspending, the additional interest that you'll pay if you're not paying your cards in full each month will far outweigh the rewards that you accrue. I think that goes without saying. For instance here, if you get two points for every dollar that you spend, you'll probably need to use 10,000 points to get a $100 voucher for a flight. It may not be worthwhile because the interest on unpaid account balances frequently far exceed the standard 2% incentive. Another trap in the rewards chasing game is signing up for too many credit cards. And regardless of the perks, you should avoid over applying for too many credit cards here. The reason for this is twofold. The first being obvious that there's more temptation, which is Dave Ramsey's argument for avoiding credit cards. When you add new credit cards to your wallet, Obviously, you might be willing or uh, tempted to spend more. But the second being that your credit scores are going to take a hit as well. The length of credit history accounts for 15% of your credit scores and opening several credit accounts in a short period of time will also affect an additional 10% of your credit scores because of inquiries. So you need to be sure you're not crashing your credit by chasing various rewards that are offered to you. Now, there's nothing wrong with using a credit card instead of carrying cash or taking advantage of perks like cash back or, or frequent flyers, as long as you pay your debt in full and on time each and every month. Now, the fifth credit card mistake that you need to avoid is using a credit card to pay medical bills. This one, like the last one, should come with some benefit when done correctly, but it's in the misuse of this where the danger lurks. When you're able to pay your credit card in full each month, things like rewards become beneficial. The same can be said when you use your credit card to pay for medical expenses, but only if you can pay off those medical expenses in full at the end of each month. As we all know, medical expenses can be exorbitantly higher than many other things that we pay for throughout life, especially if you don't have insurance. And rather than pushing your medical debt load onto a credit card, it will likely cost you much less to negotiate a deal with the hospital or other company that you owe money to if you're having problems paying your medical costs. You should definitely avoid piling on those expensive costs to your credit card interest rates. Okay, it's only gonna make things worse and even compromise your health even further. Additionally, make sure that your medical invoices are accurate and that you understand all of the charges by going over them a second or a third time. The last two times I had to visit the hospital in an emergency manner, there were unexpected costs that I was able to get removed. And medical related debt differ than many other types of debt, so it's crucial to understand it before you think credit cards should come to the rescue. For one, starting in the first half of 2023, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion will no longer include medical debt in collections under $500 on your credit reports, which is great. You'll also have a year to pay off medical debt before it's reported to credit reports and debt collectors are not permitted to report a medical bill to the credit reporting agencies without trying to collect the debt from you first. Additionally, paid medical debt that was in collections will no longer be included on consumer credit reports. So with all that in mind, guys, it may make more sense for you to keep your medical debt away from your credit cards entirely. The sixth and final 
on this list. As far as credit card mistakes, you need to be avoiding through the holiday season of 2022. And it's the most important on this list. And that mistake is avoiding your debt. And this one can really hurt you, folks. So it's crucial to avoid at all costs. Some people avoid opening their bills and act as though there's no issue because they're so stressed or they're embarrassed by their credit card debt. It's clear that this is a horrible strategy since while you're ignoring the payments, the interest just keeps making matters worse by increasing the debt that you owe. And that's every single day. Additionally, according to the conditions of the card agreement, the interest rate could increase if you skip one or two payments. It should go without saying that ignoring your credit card debt is the worst mistake that you can make with your credit cards. So what did you think of this list here? Have you made any other mistakes with your credit cards that we didn't list? Make sure you list them in the comments for us so that we can add uh, anything that we may have forgotten. We're all here to work together as a team in order to get ourselves further, faster financially. So can't wait to read what you guys write down there. Share this with somebody that might be able to use it. This is always a high stress, high pressure, highly expensive time of year. And we could certainly use each other to make sure that we get through it and start 2023 the way that we all hope. Until we see you on the next video, make it a great day today and keep on cash flowing.